Hello! Today I'd like to do a little bit more doodling with noodles. Now we have doodled with noodles before. In my quilting tips and techniques video number 039 I showed you how we cut noodles. Noodles are cut one and a half inch strips across the width of the fabric in general. Um, and then in video number 053 of the quilting tips and techniques I've given you another idea of something you might like to do with some of your noodles and today I'm going to show you another idea of things to do with noodles. As you can see these noodles are absolutely delicious um, but we we'll might get on with the main job of what we can actually do with them. So I've actually cut, well I can show you these noodles here, we, I have cut three different noodles in type we have dotty noodles, we have written noodles, and we have a plain noodle. And I have actually already joined together some of these noodles into strips because I didn't think you needed to see me doing my great long quarter inch seams. Um, just be aware that when you're joining long strips together that they can sometimes start curving a little bit. If you know you're going to be cutting them into short lengths, it might be a good idea to cut the noodles in half before you start and just join shorter lengths so that you don't get the warping that can happen. But if you want to join them the full length, that's absolutely fine. Just be aware, it can warp a little bit. So here I've joined up um, a couple of sets of these noodles already into the long strips and I've pressed them. I've pressed all the seams one way because it's easier to do it that way and generally speaking towards a darker colour. And now I'm just going to cut up these noodles. So I'm just going to lay them on my board and I'm going to use the markings on my board to help me line them up. I've still got the selvages at that end which need to be trimmed off. And uh, I'm just going to cut them into small um, little square blocks. So because I've sewn three of these strips together and they started out at one and a half inches, joined together as a threesome they're now three and a half inches. The middle strip is now only one inch wide and the others have got the seam allowance still on the outside. So I'm going to lay them on, one on top of the other, these two lots, but I'm going to stagger the seams so that the seam isn't sitting on top of another seam. So we've got the seams there and then these seams kind of slotting in between so that you've got a relatively flat piece to work with. So just keep an eye on how things are lining up on your board because the board will help you keep it straight. And with my cutter, I'm just going to trim off that end with the selvage on it. The selvages are not helpful. They can shrink and do all sorts of funny things. And then I want my little squares to be three and a half inches, so I'm going to come along three and a half inches using the markings on my board, and I'm going to slice through both together so that I've now got two little blocks just like that. And I'm going to come along another three and a half, and I can go all the way along my strip as long as my board will allow me, just cutting three and a half inch squares off there. You could actually change the size of them, of course, if you were looking for rectangular blocks, but today we're doing square blocks. So, um, and you can keep going for the rest of the strip. So a traditional way, this, this little block um, is traditionally called, as far as I know, a rail fence. It's got the three strips, and very often it has been put together so that you alternate the direction of them and if you alternate the direction of them in a couple of rows we'll just do this just to show you as long as I get it right and you can get this zigzag starting to form as you alternate them so that's quite um, a nice little idea of something to do with them it may not be what you want to do though and it's probably not what I want to do this time um, but I just thought I'd show you that that's the sort of effect you're going to get if you keep alternating the blocks with the colours, with the three colours like that. Now you can do this as a completely scrappy look quilt and I've made some blocks here just using some um, leftover country fabrics that I've had and the same thing you can do that alternating but I haven't got a continuous colour so I'm not going to get this zigzag this time I'm going to get something a little bit more like this which is just random strips but it can be very effective um, and a nice way to do things. But just to get back to these again, I thought another idea might be uh, to have some longer strips rather than cut up the whole strip and lay that that way and then maybe with some of your blocks lay them in a little ladder like that. This is just bringing a whole different look 
to using up the noodles and you might have another strip. Oops. Oh, oh, getting it wrong. We might have another strip coming down that side and you can get quite a different look just by not cutting up some of your strips. And you would have the same thing if you then want to go on and do it this way with this lighter fabric um, being a feature um, and things like that. So there's lots of different ways that you can use these strips. And I've just made a couple of small quilts um, in, in the more traditional way that I can just show you just to give you some ideas of colours. These are little, um, they could be table toppers. They've probably been made either to go on the wall or the table or a doll's bed. I thought it was quite cute. And then I've done this one as well. I've broken tradition a little bit here because I've used a colour that I don't normally use. I don't normally use very much pink, but uh, even I can use pink it seems. So I just thought I'd give you a few ideas there of what we can do with these absolutely de delicious noodles. Some of these fabrics are so nice that are coming through these days with these lovely dots and the plain colours and, uh, and even this newsprint when you've got nothing else to do you can sit and see if you can read it. So there was just another idea for doodling with noodles. Thank you.